So, the elf arc was really good. I think we could all agree that although it ended controversially, it was the best arc Black Clover has given us so far, with moments so unforgettable that it cemented the series as one of the best new gen manga. I am not discrediting it, nor will I ever. But hear me out. This new arc could be the best arc Black Clover will ever have. Now, I know that's bold of me to say, and I don't actually know this for a fact. I don't have prediction magic like Adil from ABD, so I can't say for sure that this will be Tabata's best work, but I believe it has the potential to. With the villains properly revealed and more of the full cast's new abilities displayed, although I'm sure there's more for us to see, there are so many possibilities for this new arc, and knowing Tabata, now that he's got all this potential, he's going going to use it to his advantage and create the best arc he knows how. It may very well end up being one of the best arcs in Shonen Jump right now, but instead of saying that, why don't I explain why? After this intro of course, which by the way I made the music for! So what do we know about this new arc? Well, for one, it's been half a year since chapter 228. For two, everyone in the Clover Kingdom has been training their rears off. For three, the Heart Queen has six months left to live. For four, you know maybe royalty. And for five, it's now time for the Spade Kingdom to attack. But this week, we also discovered there was no real need for the Spade Kingdom to wait six months. They did it to give the Clover Kingdom a fighting chance. Now, either these guys are really stupid and have already underestimated the Clover Kingdom, or they're insanely, stupidly, ridiculously strong, even by Black Clover standards, which would be like Julius at his prime, I'm going to assume, for assuming sake, that it's the second one. And if that's the case, and they purposefully let them think they'd have a shot at winning, these are people you do not want to pick a fight with. Like, even Locke was like, nah, bro, nah. They're seriously so confident in their strength that they let them train. They don't care. They want this to be fun. But it's also understandable that the Spade Kingdom would be confident the Magic Knights are being trained by the Heart Kingdom, and they themselves weren't able to beat Majicula. So how could the Magic Knights ever hope to? They're essentially on Gaja's level, and we already know he didn't stand a chance. But the Heart Kingdom, and furthermore the Queen, are not idiots. They know that training them to do what they can do will not win them the war. So they have to have some kind of strategy or secret weapon, something to justify this bold approach at retaliation. Either that or they're just trying their best, knowing they probably won't win but refusing to not try. Either way, it's fascinating to see what will happen and I can't wait. But what I really, really, really want to see more of is Yuno. Know. Chapter 229 threw us another bone and provided some new evidence for the theory that Yuno know may be a royal. And at this point, without actually being confirmed, it's pretty much confirmed that he is. Otherwise, why would everything add up to that conclusion? We know Tabata at this point point, he doesn't set anything up for nothing. The elf arc is proof of that. So we know, at some point, you know is gonna be revealed to be part of some kind of royal family. It's inevitable. But I wanna see where he is and what he's been up to all this time, what he looks like, how strong he's gotten. I want you know. If you happen to agree, like this video and comment down below, hashtag bring you know back. Anyway, with villains like the Dark Triad and the power-ups our characters are getting and the mysteries this arc may pop possibly solve, this really truly may be the greatest arc in all of Black Clover. Which would be disappointing, because Black Clover has the potential to go on as long as One Piece. Yuki Tabata has even confirmed this, so if he's planning to let it go on that long, then he needs to make sure the quality of writing can be maintained at least mostly in that time. But he hasn't let me down so far, so I have faith that he'll create something absolutely incredible with the rest of this series, even if this arc is the absolute best he can do. If you enjoy enjoyed this video, drop me a like and subscribe if you didn't already, and let me know what you think is gonna happen in the future of this series, as well as any ideas as to what Yuno's been up to. You all have been absolutely incredible, and thank you so much for watching, but I've gotta skedaddle on out of here, so I'll see you next time! Bye bye